Ayan. Mas malinaw ba? Hi, good morning. I'm Brother Joe again. For those of you na hindi pa ako naging kilala. So, sino yung mga first-timer? First-timer. <laughs> Bagong balik. Bagong balik. Ayan. Okay. So, again, I'm Brother Jerome. So, it's a day kaya... So, expect na ako yung nandito. So, I'm hoping na next month, ah, hindi naman ako. Yung mga taga-saya naman. Amen ba tayo ba? Kaya yun, di ba? Kaya ba? Kaya. Kaya. Di ba, Jeff? Amen. <laughs> kaya, kaya. So, um, yung topic ko ngayon actually, it's a... Uh, Every time, every time I I stand up here or every time I prepare something, I make it sure na somehow it is relevant uh, on what's happening or ano yung mga nangyayari sa atin ngayon. So I make it a point na ganun kasi um, para yung iba is or most of us makarali. So, my topic today is uh, it's all about, you can see, it's a destination. Saan ka ba patung? Saan ka ba papunta? Diba? Diba? Where do you, uh, ano ba yung patutunguhan mo? You as a person, today, today, I'm not talking about tomorrow, ah, uh, yesterday, I'm talking about today. So, whatever situation you have right now, whatever problems you have right now, it all happened because of maybe some stupid decision you made last year. Diba? Or maybe not just last year, maybe five years ago, it's just manifested today. Diba? All of those decisions, all of those bad decisions that you made long time ago, Hanggang ngayon, nararamdaman mo yan. That's why you can choose to sin, pero you can never choose the consequence. Di ba? Pwede yun. Pwede mong gawin to, maging, ano, gumawa ka ng kasalanan. But the consequence, you can never choose that. The consequence is based on the sin that you made, or you, that you did. So, right now, today, um, Uh, maybe all of you, I know, even me, I'm experiencing the same problem. So whatever decision I made on the past, still somehow affecting me today. So it doesn't matter, you know. Um, sabi nga nila, uh, there's always a time to start. Diba? That's the good news. Nagkamali ka kahapon, Okay, the next day you can start again. It's the good news. Because yung mistakes mo na mga nagawa noon, pwede mo maitama eh. Diba? Iman ba tayo dyan? Yung mga mistakes, kaya lang, the bad news is yung time. Diba? Time is limited. All of us here, meron tayong ano, a certain time. Dito. So, kung every time na lang nasasabihin mo na, okay, I can start all over again the next day. Okay, I can start again all over this year. I made a lot of bad decisions. I made a lot of bad uh, things in the past, last year, 2013. So, 2014, magbabago na ako. Diba? Sabi ko, 2014, this is my New Year's resolution. Yung mga nagawa ko noon, na pagkakamali, papaguhin ko ngayon. Diba? Usually, yun yung, yun yung, ano eh, yun yung naiisip natin, ginagawa, ah, gusto natin gawin. So, kaya yung topic ko ngayon is destination. Actually, it's about the principle of the path. So, it was sourced from the book, The Principle of the Path, by Andy, by Andy Stanley. 
So, Andy Stanley is, uh, sinasabi niya dito sa libro na to is, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay mo yun, is choose that. You have this path and you have this path. Diba? You can go on the wrong way or you can go on the right way. So, it's a choice that you have to make. Diba? Huwag mong sisisihin yung ibang tao na kaya naman ako naging ganito kasi dahil sa kanya. So, kaya ako naging masama dahil sa kanya. So, no. It is your own choice. Diba? So, for me, when I look back sa 2013, tinitingnan ko yung 2013 yung mga nagawa ko. Actually, napapailing na lang ako. I made a lot of bad decisions. I made a lot of bad decisions financially, especially financially. I made a bad decision last year, financially. Na until now, I'm suffering. So, it's one of the bad decisions na 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 nagawa ko. So, hopefully, hopefully, this year, I learned my lesson. So, kaya, maybe some of you, try to look back on your past. Or not just 2013, 2010 or 2011, maybe some of the mistakes that you did, kailangan nyo ng lifetime na i-correct yun, di ba? Meron tayong mga pagkakamali na ginawa na lifetime na kailangan nating not necessarily pagdusahan. It's a lifetime that you have to correct. So nevertheless, it's your own choice. So, principle of the path. Meron lang akong video dito. So, na kayo dyan. So, siguro may idea na kayo, no? Kung nasa ang stage na kayo. In what stage of life you are right now? So, yung iba nasa twilight na, eh. Diba? Diba? Some of you, it's in the twilight. Nandito na sa twilight. Some of you, most of you, most of you, nandito tayo sa kalagitnaan, diba? Diba? Andito tayo sa kalagit na. So kaya nga sinasabi nila. So some of us here malilit pa yung mga yung anak ko lilit pa. So still they are toddlers and baby so lilit pa. So kaya nga kadalasan kadalasan sinasabi ng mga matatanda, di ba? Bakit yung mga matatanda ang hilig magpayo? Di ba? Why they always want to advise? Siguro, based na rin doon sa mga kahaba ng experience nila, ng nangyayari sa buhay nila, they knew. They knew already. You know, they have the experience na ang dami nilang nagawang pagkakamali na, na kaya binibigay nila sa'yo na they should do that during those times. Diba? Kaya binibigay nila ngayon yun sa'yo. So, I believe, kaya yung mga parents natin, ganun ang sinasabi, di ba? Di ba yung mga pet natin, ayoko ng lalaki na yan. 
Hindi ko gusto yan. Kasi ganyan ako dati. Kaya <laughs> pala eh. Diba? Ganyan yung mga parents natin. So, see, um, try to look back at your past. Try to look back on your past. Balikan nyo yung past nyo. Di ba ang liwanag? It's very clear, looking back on your past. Lahat ng pagkakamali mo, lahat ng achievements mo. Right now, try to look back on your past. Di ba sasabihin mo, ay sana dapat ganito ang ginawa ko. Ay sana dapat ganito ang gagawin ko. Hindi sana hindi ako nagsasuffer na yun, di ba? Try to look back on your past. And definitely, your past is very clear. Makikita mo lahat na andon. Kung ano man yung pagkakamaling ginawa mo, ano man kabutihang ginawa mo, malinaw na malinaw sa pag-iisip mo yung nakikita mo yun. Now, try to look back on your future. Do you visualize? Di ba blurred? Blurred. The future is blurred. You cannot say that it's very clear na makikita mo na yung future. Di ba? or your destination, makikita mo na ba yung destination mo doon? Hindi pa, di ba? So, that's why we have to choose today which path are you going to choose. It's either the, uh, it's either the right path or yung kabilang dahil. So, di ba? It's your choice. So, ito yung sabi niya sa The Principle of the Path. Direction, not intention, determine your destination. It is the direction. Hindi yung intention mo. You are intended, you, you want to be a doctor when you were young. Anong ginawa mo? Di ba? Anong ginawa mo nung nag-aaral ka? Nag-aaral ka, di ka nag-aaral, or nakontento ka na ng ganito. Then definitely it's your intention. But which direction you you take? It's a different direction. So kaya ganun na nangyari, di ba? Ayun ang naging destination mo. Some of you, you want to have a... Uh, some of you uh, gustong magkaroon ng bahay. Some of you gustong makapagpatayo ng bahay someday sa Philippines while we are working here. But right now, that is your intention. But what are you doing right now? Diba? What are you do what are you doing right now? Kung ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon and that is the direction that you want to take. Whether you want to save money or not, it's still the direction, it's not the intention. So, uh, most of the time we pray, diba? Most of the time as a Christian we pray. We pray a lot. We pray a lot that Lord Bigyan mo kami ng bagong bahay, bigyan mo kami ng bagong trabaho, Panginoon. That is your intention. So, but your destination will not depend on that. It will still depend on the direction that you will take. Whatever direction you will take, nagdadasal ka nga ng ganun, pero yung iba, iba naman yung ginagawa mo, di ba? So definitely, you will end up on a different destination. So, nagtataka nga ngayon, bakit nandito ako, di ba? <laughs> How in the world I end up here? <laughs> di ba, minsan tatanungin mo sa sarili mo, How in the world I end up here? We Christians, we always ask that. Panginoon, bakit naman nandito ako ngayon? Nagsaserve naman ako sa iyo, di ba? Lord, bakit? nararanasan ko yung problema na to. Pero hindi mo nare-realize that problem is it happened because you choose that problem. You choose that path. So we always, sometimes, we always blame God. Pag wala tayong may blame, pag ayaw natin i-blame yung sa sarili natin, we always blame God. Bakit may mga nangyayari sa ating mga bagay na ayaw natin? So still, it's the direction. So today, you have a chance to choose which path. Kung ano yung gusto mong path na gawin. Diba? So, topic it's all about New Year. It's all about 2014. So this is, this is the day that you can start again 
your life where you can choose which path you want to choose. So it's all up to you. But we, we as Christians, diba, paano tayo magsisimula, diba? Paano tayo, paano natin malalaman yung tamang path na pupuntahan natin? Diba, there must be some reference point for us. So ano yun? We always point to the Bible. It's always the Word of God that will lead us to the right destination. No matter what happened, as long as you trust God, definitely you will end up on the right destination. So, ang, ang text na kinuha ko is from Proverbs chapter 7, uh, verse 6 to 27. So, ito yung uh, sinasabi ni, ni Solomon. So, Solomon is the wise man. He is one of the wisest men on earth. Ito yung sinasabi niya doon sa mga bata, sa mga young men. So, at the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in, then came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant, her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. She looked, she took hold of him and kissed him. And with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfilled my vows, and I have food from my fellowship offering at home. So I came out to meet you, I looked for you, and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with mire, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. So. Just try to imagine you are the young man, you are walking on the street, and you saw a lady and trying to invite you to come inside her house. So you got my point? So, and here is the old man Solomon, you know, ito yung sinasabi niya sa mga bata, ano sabi niya babae, my husband is not at home, he has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her. Like an ox going to the slaughter. Like a deer stepping into a snooze, into a trap. So, naitan nyo na yung, ano, naitan nyo na yung logic ng scripture. Diba? All at once he followed her, like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a, into a noose, till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Ito yung sabi ni Solomon. Pay attention to what I say. See, this is the wisest man trying to give advice to those young men. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down her slain, are mighty from. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, Father, we praise you and we thank you, O Lord. May your words manifest, Father, today in the mighty name. Amen. See, nakuha niyo yung, ano, nakuha niyo yung uh, logic ng ano, scripture. So, there was a young man walking on the street and he thinks that it's cool. You know, most of us, while we were young, we thought, it's cool. You know, it's very cool. So, here's a young lady trying to invite you to her house. 
let's have a drink, let's have something. So for you it's okay, you don't see anything wrong on that. But for the wise man, he is trying to tell you, do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray to her paths. Because Solomon knew once you try to enter to that path, it's a distraction. Definitely. Definitely it's a distraction. Whether you try to admit it or not, it's a distraction. It will destroy your life. So that's why he is saying many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throne. Her house is a highway to the grave. So it will pull you down. So how do we know? So how do we decide? Where is the right path? So number one is be careful of the attention that you will make. Whatever attention, kung ano mang attention ngayon ang, ang, ang nasa buhay mo, kung ano yung binibigyan mo ng attention, whatever attention that you are in right now will definitely affect your life. Whether it is financially, whether it is relationship, whether it is marriage, whether it is spiritual life, so, kung anong attention ng meron ka ngayon, it will someday affect your destination. So, anong sabi ni David? Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find the light. Turn my heart towards your statutes and not towards selfish king. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Ayun ang sabi ni David, di ba? Turn my eyes away from worthless things. If right now, ang attention mo is in those worthless things, ang galin mo ngayon yan. Turn away. Di ba? Turn away. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Because it's a path. So, if right now, if right now you are in debt, or if right now ang dami mong utang, maybe, maybe last year, you may have some financial, bad financial decision. Diba? So, most of the time, most of the time, most of the time na, ta na tayo dahil may utang tayo ngayon. Most of the time. I'm not saying every time. Most of the time, it's because of bad financial decision. So last year, nakita mo bago iPhone 5S. Diba? Meron kang S3. Ang ganda ng iPhone 5S. Ang ganda ng features. Diba? Pumuha ka ngayon ng hulugan sa Algani, 18 months to pay. Diba? Ay nakakita ka ng bagong TV. Kinuha mo na rin sa Alganim. Sabay-sabay na. Di ba? May nakiride pa sa'yo ngayon. May nakiride pa sa'yo ngayon. Sabi mo, si sobrad. Ma makiride ka rin sa akin. Sabi niya, ang laki nung, ano, ang laki nung, uh, ang laki nung credit limit ko sa Alganim eh. Di ba? So, nanguha, nanguha din yung nandamay ka pa ngayon. <laughs> ano, nakacharge mo. Nandamay ka pa. Sabi mo, sige, bro, kukuha din ako yung, ano, yung tablet naman sa akin. Okay? Masaya, di ba? One week. Dut-dut. Ayan na, after one month, ayan na yung bill. Bayan na. Di ba? Bayan na, di ba? For how many years? One and a half years, you have to pay. Di ba? <laughs> every time, every time na nangutang ka, you are the slave of the lender. Always think of that. Every time na nangutang ka, you are a slave of the lender. You have a credit card? Di ba? Punta ka ng avenues? Oh, daming sales. <laughs> 50% off. <laughs> Di ba? 50% off. Daming sales. Oh, kas-kas ka ngayon ng credit card. Di ba? 
Nakaka-relate ba yung iba? <laughs> diba? Kaskas <laughs> ng credit card! Kaskas lang! Okay, di mo mararamdaman yan eh. Kasi kakaskasin mo lang. Diba? Okay, after one month, ayan na yung bill. <laughs> ayan na yung bill. It will not manifest in one month time. It will never manifest in one month time. It will manifest after three months, four months, five months. Diba? Andiyan na yun eh. So you have to set aside some of your money. So that is not your intention. Your intention last year is what? At least makapagpatayo ako ng bahay. Di ba? At least makapag-save pa ako ng ganitong amount. Di ba? That is your intention. But the direction that you take is different. So that's why direction determines whatever destination you have right now. Kung saan mo gusto patungo, it is in your direction you take. It is on the path that you will take. It's not on your intention. So the things that attracts you influence the direction of your life. Definitely. Whatever things that attract you now will influence the direction of your life. Aminin mo man o hindi, definitely kung ano yung pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon, kung ano yung ano yung nakikita mo ngayon, kung ano yung doon ka nakapokus, doon patutungo yung buhay mo. It will somehow influence the direction of your life. So, ano ba yung nasa attention mo ngayon? So, ano yung nakaka-attract sa inyo ngayon? Right now, you have to make a plan. Right? Right now, you have to take the path. This is 2014. So, This is 2014. We are on the first month of 2014. Right now, you need to decide where you want to go. Where you want to end up at the end of maybe December. Or maybe the next year. Or maybe after five years. So, it is the direction that you have to take. So, whatever attracts you now, whether it is good or bad, it will definitely influence your life. So number two, the things that you focus more will eventually steer your life. Kung saan ka nakapokus ngayon, dito ka nakapokus ngayon, dito ka pupunta. Hindi pwedeng dito ka nakapokus, doon ka papunta. Hindi pwedeng mangyari yun. Kung dito ka nakapokus, dito ka papunta. Whether it is good or bad. Whether it is in your relationship, whether it is in your finance, it, 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 it regards with your finance, dito ka papunta kung saan ka nakapokus. Whether it is your, in your spiritual life, kung saan ka nakapokus, doon ka papunta. Kung nakapokus ka sa pera, doon ka papunta. So now, where do you focus? Saan ka ba nakapokus ngayon? Diba? This 2014, where do you want to put your attention? Diba? Where do you want to put your attention? This is, this is the, uh, it's another year. So, kailangan mag-isip tayo sa, so, we have to be wise. We have to be very careful in what attention, kung ano yung saan sa natin ibigigay yung attention natin. Because there's always two sides of the story. It's either good, it's either bad. So, where do you want to put your attention? Sa kahit anong bagay, this is not just spiritually. This is in all aspects of life, you have to be very careful putting your attention. Because whatever attention will really affect your life. Not today, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So, definitely, we have to learn from our mistakes in the past. And you have to be very careful in which attention you will take. Tignan niyo yung video, yung mga regrets nila.
Saya di sasari grab dulu. Ya, grab di kita. What is your regret in life? Ang dami, di ba? So don't make that regret the same regret this 2014. Yeah, unless you learn from your past mistake. Unless you learn. Kasi kung hindi ka matututo dun sa mga past mistakes mo, if you don't have the wisdom to learn from your mistake, this regret will keep on happening every year. Every end of the year, you will regret something. Now, as a Christian, as a believers of Christ, we all have some regrets in life. We do have, we do have. I myself have a lot of regrets in my life. But there's always room for restoration. There is always room for restoration. Where do we go? Where do we go to restore us? It's only through our it's only through our Lord Jesus Christ. If we put our attention to Jesus Christ, definitely He can restore us, and definitely He can show us the right path. You try to focus attention on the things that makes you happy today. You will you will go on the wrong path. Definitely, it is going to the destruction of life. So it's either you are on the right path or you are on the wrong path. See, whatever captures your attention controls your life. Right now. Your attention is on money, relationship, or on Jesus Christ. It will control your life. And definitely, it will determine your destination. So, after life, see, yung kaninang, ano, yung kaninang video, di ba? Once you died, it's not the end. Diba? Actually, it's the beginning of the end. Diba? It's the beginning of another life. So, right now, which path you will take? So, 
be when you are on the twilight of your life, then definitely you will know. But you can never come back, correct all the all that mistakes. So it's either you are with Jesus, or it's either you are against Him. <coughs> So number two, number one is be careful on what attention that you will make. So number two, decisions. So you have to decide now. Wala nang, wala nang makakapag-decide pa pag sinabi mong, uh, uh, Panginoon, uh, bukas na lang ako magdadahit kasi, <laughs> kasi ano ngayon na, uh, Uh, masarap ang pagkain sa church. <laughs> so, bukas na lang. Eh, high blood ka na. <laughs> Mataas na yung dugo mo. Eh, ang ulam may ano, baka. <laughs> oh, baka nagsesebo pa. Masarap, di ba? Lord, bukas na lang. Okay lang. Tapos, kain ka. Kain ka ngayon. Dami mo kinain. Kinabukasan. Ano nangyari? Wala na. Di na makapangon. <laughs> So if you really want, if you really want to do something good, you have to decide now. This is the right time. So ano sabi ni Jesus Christ don sa ano sa Matthew 7, uh, chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it, but Small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Again, you have to decide which gate you will take or which road you will take. You have to decide. And Jesus Christ Himself said, "Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the is the road that leads to destruction." Diba? Ang, ano na yun eh? Yung, uh, yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ is uh, you can interpret that the way you want. It's very... Uh, andyan na yun eh. Andyan na. Sinasabi niya na. Narrow is the road or narrow is the gate. Diba? Wide is the gate, broad is the road that leads to destruction. So it's either you will decide today kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo. So, in decision, you have to have some action, di ba? Hindi pwedeng nag-decide ako ngayon. Panginoon, ngayon, magsasave na ako every month. 10K di monthly. 10K di monthly para sa retirement ko. So, 10K di kung 60 ka ngayon, eh di One year na lang. <laughs> 120K na lang. Wala na. <laughs> Hirap naman niya talon, di ba? So, it depends. It depends on the age. So, let's say, Panginoon, promise ko to sa sarili ko uh, para sa retirement ko. Retirement para sa family ko. 10K D. So, you are 20 years old, 25 years old now. And you are uh, projecting 25 years of 10K D. So just try to imagine that. So it's still, it's a decision. It's an action. You have to do something. Whether it is financially, it's relationally. Kung ngayon nag-aaway kayo ng asawa mo, kung ngayon mag-aaway kayo ng asawa mo, you have to decide. You have to do something. <laughs> See, the wise thing do to do requires discipline. It always requires discipline. Whether it is in your health, whether it is in your uh, uh, relationship, whether it is financially, whether it is spiritual life, it always requires discipline. Kailangan natin ng disiplina, mga kapatid. Hindi tayo, uh, hindi tayo yung, uh, uh, see, if a person, uh, hindi siya makapag-decide para sa sarili niya, or para sa pamilya niya, or para sa isang congregation, or para sa isang uh, sa isang team, hindi siya makapag-decide, then definitely you will end up nowhere. 
Because you, you cannot decide. Hindi ka makapag-decide. Pag sinabi sa iyo ng isang tao na ano, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. O sige, dito tayo. Yung isa na mo, sige, dito tayo. Diba? So you have to decide now. Kahit anong, sa kahit anong bagay, you have, to, you have to make a decision. You have to do something. Then you have to sacrifice. Give something up. Kung high blood ka na ngayon, at mahilig ka sa baka, ka na kumain? Pira. High blood na nga eh. May sakit ka na, di ba? Or kung diabetic ka na ngayon, so... Try to minimize yung sugar. <laughs> diba? You have to sacrifice something. Diba? You want to build a house. If you want to have a house doon sa Pilipinas, then you have to have, you have to sacrifice something. Nakakita ka ng bagong damit. Or nakakita ka ng bagong gadget. So, rather than buying that new gadget, stay to the Philippines, to your account. So, definitely, kung meron kang plano of your intention is to really, really, really build your own house in the Philippines, then you will add up to your savings. Diba? It requires discipline, actually. Kailangan mo ng disiplina. So we have to learn from other people. People here, they are working 25 years, 30 years, diba? So we have to learn from them. Because Decision, uh, you need more information. You cannot decide, or you, when you decide based on the little information that you have, then definitely chances are, mas malaking chances na magkamali tayo. Because everything, every leader, actually, even, you know, leaders of the state, when they decide, they have all the information. Kaya nga, great decision, di ba? Kailangan mo ng more information. You need more information. If you decide Christ, that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, so paano ka magde-decide? Di ba? How you will decide that I will commit my life to Christ and if you don't know who is Jesus Christ. You don't even know the life of Jesus. You don't even know uh, uh, what Jesus did. Diba? All you know is, okay, I will decide na uh, uh, kay Jesus Christ ako. Diba? Kay Jesus Christ ang gusto na ito. Pero wala kang idea sa'yo si Jesus Christ. Ang hirap naman nun, diba? So more information. You need more information. In your spiritual life, you need more information. But the good thing is God gave us the reference. Binigay niya na lahat. You see, if you read the Bible, if you read the Bible, God used someone to deliver His message. In all the books, in all the books of the Bible, if you read on the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you can see that God uses someone to talk to people. It's about our spiritual life. So right here, right now, hindi lang tayo nandito para alam nyo, makichika-chika. We are talking about our relationship with God. We are talking about our destination in life. Someday. So we are talking about salvation. We are not just here para lang uh, makisaya or what. So right now, we are talking about our own salvation. And not just for us, but for other people also. So it's your decision. I don't know if you really accepted Jesus Christ in your life. But before you accept Jesus Christ, you have to repent. Without repentance, it's not an exception. You can say, I accept Jesus Christ, but I have to do what I'm doing. Na mali. No, it's not. You have to decide now. Because what we are talking is not just this life. We are talking on the next life. And we all believe that after this life, meron pang susunod. 
and it's the final destination. Either you are with God or against God. So the wise thing to do requires sacrifice now. Kailangan natin magsakripisyo. Kung, kung ayaw mong magbasa ng Bible, you have to sacrifice. At least read one chapter. At least, uh, kung nalilito ka, you, you know, uh, uh, there is no uh, excuse actually in this uh, age that I have no time to read the Bible. Tinatamad kang magbasa, okay. Tinatamad kang magbasa. Gawin mong audio. May cellphone ka. Lahat ng mga Bible ngayon may audio na. Ipi-play na lang nila. Asabihin na lang sa'yo chapter by chapter. Ano, hindi, ako, hindi ako marunong magbasa. Diba? Hindi, mahina ako sa English. Diba? May Tagalog. Diba? May Tagalog naman eh. Hindi ko maintindihan yung mga salitang English. Diba? So, basahin mo sa Tagalog. So you have to decide today, it's either you are with God or you are against Him. So, maybe you're thinking about making some big changes or setting some ambitious goals for yourself. Maybe you want to lose 20 pounds or read through the Bible. Maybe you want to run a marathon or repair a broken relationship. Whatever your big goal is, the temptation is to expect to go straight from here to here, or from here to here. The reality is, there are a lot of small steps between big decisions and big results. Challenges and obstacles await. At some point, you might even want to quit. But stand firm. Don't be disappointed with slow progress. Don't be overwhelmed by the destination. Rather, Focus on what you can do today. Skip dessert. Read a chapter. Go for a run. Make a phone call. The more difficult the journey, the more rewarding the destination. And it can all start today with just one small step. So you can start today. Little by little. You want to know Christ? You can start today. Little by little. You want to know uh you want to know the right path? You can start today. You want to choose the right path, you can start today. You have to decide. <clears throat> Otherwise it's too late. So that's why regrets always at the end. Kaya di ba yung regret laging nasa dulo? Because it's too late. Di ba? It's too late when you are old or work, when you cannot do the things that you have to do, sasabihin mo, sayang, dapat nung ginawa ko na ito. Sayang, dapat nung nag-ipon na ako. Di ba? Sayang. Puro na lang tayo sayang. So you have to choose, you have to decide. Sabi ni ano, ni C.S. Lewis, Good and evil both increase a compound interest. See, there are two. Good and evil both increase a compound interest. That is why the little decisions you and I, you and I make every day are of such infinite importance. Those little decisions na ginagawa mo araw-araw sa buhay mo will definitely affect your destination. Definitely. Definitely. Number three. Submission. So, number one is attention. Two is decision. You have to decide. Kung hindi ka makakapag-decide niyon, definitely makakapag-decide ka pag huli na ang lahat. <laughs> So you have to decide. Number three, submission. So ito yung submission, sabi ni Solomon. Trust in the Lord with all your heart 
and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Diba? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And your own understanding. If you try to analyze all the mistakes that you did in the past, it's based on your own understanding. I tried. I tried to realize lahat ng mga pagkakamali ko noon. And it's really, I really decide based on my own understanding. I may pray to God, but still, I decide on my own. So all of the mistakes that I made, it's on my own understanding. I decided. So what he, what he is saying here, trust in the Lord, you have to submit to Him. You want to know this, you want to know the right direction, you want to know the right destination, you have to submit to God. Otherwise, you are still controlling yourself. And once you try to control with your own self, it always leads to destruction. That's why submission is very important. You have to submit to Him. Submit everything to Him, whether it is financially, spiritually, marriage life, relationship. Diba? Submit to Him, everything. Submit to Him. In every decision that you will make, submit to Him. You have to have a submission attitude. Otherwise, uh, kung wala kang submission attitude, then uh, uh, you are on your own. God will tell you, you are on your own. And when you are in, when you are on your own, one day or the other, it's, see, some of the people that decide or uh, uh, on their own, laging ano eh, at the end, at the end of their goal, laging may dead end, di ba? No. Laging may dead end. But with God, if you submit to God, definitely God will control your life. And when God controls your life, definitely there is no wrong destination. There is no wrong direction. He will always lead you. He will always guide you. So when you submit to God, it always proceeds to the right direction. So it's either it's either my own understanding or God understanding. God knows the future. I don't know the future. God knows what will happen next. God knows uh, God knows uh, everything. Diba? Where do I put my trust? It's very clear, diba? Where do I put my trust? If God knows my future, if God knows what will happen 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 100 years from now, where do I put my trust? You don't even know what will happen tomorrow. You don't even know what will happen next week. So where do you put your trust? You have to put trust to God. And then it leads to God's destination. If you try to summarize, if God's control your life, He will lead you to the destination that He wants to lead you. Now the question is, are you willing to submit yourself? It takes a humble heart, it takes a cautious mind to submit. If you are not willing to submit yourself, then definitely you have your own choice. You always lean on your own understanding and lean your own understanding leads to destruction. Kaya nga, di ba, yung sayo relief natin is always uh, when you look back on your past, you know, there is some kind, kind of sigh uh, relief yung uh, it is good that I did not do it. Di ba? It is good someone interrupted me. Otherwise, it destroy my life. Otherwise, it will destroy my life. 
I myself have uh, experienced those things that uh, that will destroy your life. Not just my life. My family life. So it's either will destroy me. I myself will destroy my own life. So a sign of relief is when you learn that this is not the right path that I have to take. So it always leads to God's destination and submission every time, every time I think about submission, it always comes to my mind, Jesus Christ, how he submit himself to the authority of God. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Sabi niya, nang bago siya, malapit na siya ipakaw sa cross, di ba? Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, the cup of suffering. Nevertheless, not my will but yours be done. It's the attitude we have to imitate. <coughs> Let always God's will yung mangyari sa buhay natin. If we always try to interrupt kung ano yung plan ng Panginoon, lagi tayong magkakamali at magkakamali at magkakamali. Now, there's always and then, okay, time is limited. We don't know when we will expire. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. So the decision is to be, you have to submit yourself to God. Okay, where do we submit? Paano natin malalaman yung submission, di ba? So God gave us the reference. He gave us the Bible. When you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, it always points you to God. Believe me, if you read the Bible, it always points you to God. Like ganun. It always points you to God. So when you are reading the Bible, just take in mind that uh, it's not your story. It's God's story. It is God. So what mong relate yung sarili mo. Huwag mo i-relate yung sarili mo na na ganito, ganyan, ganyan, Panginoon, parang ako to ah. Di ba? It is not you. It's not about you. It's about God. If you read the Bible, God gave us the Bible. It was written by men. Di ba? Ano sabi ng mga skeptics? It is written by men, then there must be a mistake. Di ba? If it's written by men, may pagkakamali dyan. But what? Uh, if lahat na lang ng gawa ng tao written by man ay mali, hindi ka nang babasa. Lahat to gawa ng tao. Diba? Even the laptops are written by man. Even the programs are written by man. Diba? You have to read the Bible. If in your life, you never read the Bible, today, you can decide and you can submit. The Bible contains the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. Its doctrines are holy, its precepts are binding, its stories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Read it to be wise, believe it to be safe, and practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, and the Christian's charter. Here, paradise is restored, heaven opened, and the gates of hell disclosed. Christ is its grand subject, our good, the desire, and the glory of God, its end. It should fill the memory, rule the heart, and guide the feet. Read it slowly, frequently, and prayerfully. It is a mine of wealth, health to the soul, and a river of pleasure. It involves the highest responsibility, will reward the greatest labor, and will condemn all who trifle with its sacred contents. 
pray it in, read it through, live it out, and pass it on. So if I ever have a New Year resolution this year, and that is to read the Bible, where I can get all the information that I need in taking the right direction. So the Bible is our reference point. It is our compass leading it to the destination of God. This is it. This is it. Bible is the information that all we need. It's everything. Not Nanduna. So the greatest of man power is the measure of his surrender. Once you start to surrender your life, then you will receive power. It is not a question of who you are or of what you are, but whether God controls you. If you let God control your life, you will end up in the right direction where God wants you to be. He will show you the right direction and He will lead you to the right destination. That's all I understand? Oh, conclusion. <laughs> Where do you want to end up? <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> so where do you want to end up? The question is, where do you want to end up? Not today. Some of you will end up somewhere. If you will not bring careful attention, to your path, you will end up somewhere. We don't know where it is. Or you don't even know. Where is that? Diba? Number two, decision. If you don't decide now, some of you will end up nowhere. But if you submit to God, some of you will end up exactly where God wants you to be. Doon yun. Amen. That's all said. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa guidance na ibinigay mo po sa amin, Panginoon. Ikaw po yung nag-deliver, Panginoon, ng message mo, Panginoon, sa congregation na to. Maraming maraming salamat. Help us, O Lord, Panginoon, to see to see the problem, Panginoon. Help us to identify those problem, Panginoon, na darating pa lang sa buhay namin, Panginoon. Give us, Panginoon, the wisdom, Panginoon. Give us the wisdom to identify those problem, Panginoon, na paparating pa lang, Panginoon. And give us the courage, Panginoon. Give us the courage to decide, Panginoon. To decide, Panginoon, that on taking the right path, Panginoon. Ikaw po yung laging magbigay sa amin, Panginoon, ng wisdom, ng information, Panginoon. Help us, O Lord, to submit ourselves to you, Panginoon. To you alone, O Lord. Wala na pong iba, Panginoon, na makakapagbigay sa amin ng tamang direction ng buhay, kundi ikaw, Panginoon. Because you are the creator of life, Panginoon. It, all lives here on earth came from you, Panginoon. And definitely, it is wise enough to trust in you, Panginoon trust our life in you because you alone create us, Panginoon. And you know, you know everything what will happen in the future. May you manifest in our life, Panginoon, in our spiritual life, in our financial life, in our relationship, Panginoon, sa ibang tao, sa aming mga asawa, sa aming mga anak, Panginoon, sa aming mga kapatid, sa aming mga kasama dito, Panginoon. May you manifest, Panginoon, that we may, that we may end up, Panginoon, according to the, to the destination that you want us to be found out. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>